Good evening. Welcome to The 7. I'm Don Hudson. Good to be with you. Let's get a look at the big seven stories right now. And topping the list, we have new information about a wanted suspect involved in a Knoxville shooting. The man wanted by Knoxville police on attempted murder charges has been found and has been taken into custody. Just after 10 o'clock last night, officers responded to an apartment in the Walter P. Taylor homes in the 300 block of McConnell Street. They found a 28-year-old man suffering from a non-life-threatening bullet wound. He was taken to UT Medical Center, expected to recover. Now, the investigation revealed that 25-year-old Stephen Davison allegedly shot the man through the door of the apartment after some type of argument. Davison was found at a motel on Asheville Highway, and again, he is now in custody. Our next big seven at seven, seven story at seven involves a father and a son. Now, police say a marable man and is now in custody, facing charges on criminal homicide. Authorities say they responded to a house on Old Niles Ferry Road after a report of an unconscious person. What they found was a man dead in the bedroom from stab wounds. The victim identified as 58-year-old David Anthony Mills. Law enforcement identified the suspect as Mills' son, 29-year-old David Alexander Mills. He was later found and arrested in Alcoa. He remains in custody on a $1 million bond. A former fugitive arrested on child pornography charges makes our next Big 7 at 7 story. An update now on this story that we, of course, been following for some time. Sean Williams out of the hospital, back in jail after authorities say he tried to commit suicide while in isolation. You'll recall Williams was a subject of a manhunt after escaping from a prison van back in October in Greene County. Now, he was later found in Florida. He's facing a number of charges, including production of child porn. Yesterday, just two hours after being booked into the Blunt County Jail, he attempted suicide. We're told he is in stable condition with some type of puncture wound and back in jail and under close supervision. And he will appear in court tomorrow as originally planned at 2 in the afternoon. Our next big story at 7 includes a workplace accident. 29 employees hospitalized after a chemical spill at a Greenville cheese factory today. City officials say two separate anhydrous ammonia leaks occurred at the La Casera Mexicana Cheese Factory. The first chemical leak, 7.15 this morning. Six employees were impacted by that. The second was an additional 23 employees right about 10 o'clock. According to the State Occupational Safety and Health Administration, they'll be looking at both of these leaks. They will determine if criteria are met before a formal investigation begins. An I-40 exit in Sevier County is our next big story at 7. That's because the Tennessee Department of Transportation's 10-year project plan includes a new on-ramp and off-ramp in Sevierville. Now, the much-anticipated improvement will have a lot of responses, some positive, some negative, but there's one in particular that might matter, I don't know, the most or close to it. We spoke with Sevier County Mayor Larry Water about the state's plans. Well, we certainly... Uh, uh... We being the uh, city of Sevierville and, and Sevier County have been working with TDOT over the last uh, several years, uh, actually on uh, improvements out there. Uh, first, the improvements at the 407 because of the uh, uh, opening of Bucky's and then uh, uh, a 408 exit uh, because not only is Bucky's going in that area, but uh, the Cherokees own uh, that property and they're going to be retail as well as they're right now building a motel. I understand there's going to be two, there's going to be retail and there is another, uh, there is a theme park going in that. A lot going on by that exit. The exit will connect to a state road, which will also help with the increased traffic that that area is experiencing. A new school at UT is our next big story at 7. The goal is to help students network with industry leaders, but also plan for their future. Students will start a project their freshman year that could potentially turn into their career once they graduate. With that, however, is the ever-changing workforce and the ever-changing landscape, right? Investors and industry leaders are looking for those who are able to adapt in the changing environment. The college held an industry night last week with panels that went over future plans for the new college. We spoke with the dean of the College of Emerging Sciences to get more information. We learn design skills and we look in our industry partners as they have their vision set in their first course and we'll continue engaging our partners throughout our students' career on campus uh, to make sure we are delivering 
rewarding careers and gainful employment for our graduates. And we are told that uh, that was really the first, there was really a first of many meetings. The next one of the meetings will be taking place in May. Our last big 7 at 7 story includes Christmas and holiday travel. With Christmas less than a week away, the Tennessee Highway Patrol says troopers are out preparing for the busiest time of the year. AAA says that nearly 3 million Tennesseans will travel between Christmas Eve and New Year's Day as well. However, if you plan to fly, there are some things that you should probably know. Becky Huckabee is the spokesperson out at McGee Tyson Airport. She tells us that the airport expects about 5,000 people to travel through the airport on Friday alone. The elevated number of people has Huckabee offering some advice to travelers, including those who are bringing their presents with them on their trip. Maybe not wrap your gifts. Some of the things going through the checkpoint that have wire ribbon and different things will have to be unpacked. So we're asking everyone, bring your packages, but make sure they stay unwrapped until you get to your destination. Huckabee also tells folks to be at the airport two hours before your flight. Pack an extra change of clothes, any type of medications that you might need in your carry-on just in case your luggage doesn't make it with you to your destination. And she adds, maybe pack a little patience as well. Motorists will not have to deal with road construction during busy holiday travel. Starting Friday morning, TDOT is going to halt lane closures on interstates and state highways. This is going to last all the way through Tuesday, January 2nd. Now, AAA estimates 2 million Tennesseans will hit the road between December 23rd and January 1st. I think we might have said 3 million before. It's somewhere between 2 and 3 million.